how to make barbecued pulled pork sandwiches. Out here in Hollywood, California, everyone's concerned with their butt. In particular, I'm concerned with my butt. My 12 and a half pound pork butt. This baby is filled with fat connective tissue, this big slab of fat on the back. You could never grill it. You wouldn't want to grill it, which is why we're going to smoke it. We're going to smoke it for an hour to an hour and a half per pound. This thing's just going to pull apart pulled pork. You'll need the following. One glass bowl, one wire whisk, two tablespoons chili powder, two tablespoons cumin, two tablespoons ground black pepper, two tablespoons kosher salt, two tablespoons white sugar, two tablespoons brown sugar, one teaspoon cayenne pepper, and one fourth cup paprika. Alrighty, now mix it all up. There's a couple things you need to know about this pork butt. One, it is not the butt, it is the front shoulder of the pig. I have no idea why they call it a pork butt, so don't let that turn you off to this particular cut. You can also use a pork roast, a picnic roast, a shoulder, there's a bunch of names for it, but basically what you're looking for is something just fatty, marbly, and pretty much disgusting looking at this stage of the game. This particular pork butt is 12 pounds. The reality is at your grocery store, they're gonna come between six and eight pounds, and that's because this is way too much for a family and you just don't need them, and it takes a long time to cook. So what I'm gonna do is cut it in half so it looks a little bit more like the ones you're gonna find at your store. So here we have the pork butt already cut in half, and this piece is about six pounds. So what we wanna to do to get this ready for the smoker is the following. Take your knife and just score the meat just a little bit. This will help increase the surface area of the pork that gets subjected to the rub, which adds tons of flavor. So we do that, we flip it over, we look at the fat side, we score the fat slightly. This will help heat get in these cracks and break down the fat better because you want all this fat to melt away and go through the meat. So what we need to do to get this ready is a similar process that we do with the ribs. We cover it in yellow mustard. The vinegar and the yellow mustard will help break down the pork. It'll also help the rub stick, and it'll also give it a slight mustard seasoning. We didn't use any mustard on the, or in our rub because we're gonna count on this. The mustard will also help the rub stick to the meat. So we cover it with very generous handfuls of rub. And we wanna cover this entire piece everywhere. We don't even wanna see any yellow until it's all ready to go. And you can scoop up from the sides and keep covering it. It's not so important that you get it on the fat side because that's gonna melt away and off and the rub will go with it down into your drain. Now that we've finished rubbing down our pork butt, what we wanna do is we wanna wrap it in foil so we can put it in the refrigerator overnight. We're going to put this in the smoker right now and we're going to put it in fat side up and that's so this big ridge of fat that we scored earlier can drip down through the pork making it tender and juicy. So we want this pork butt in this smoker at 220 degrees for the next six to nine hours, probably closer to nine. We're trying to get to an internal temperature of between 195 and 205 degrees. And that's where all this connective tissue and all this fat is going to break down and run through the meat, leaving it just pull apart tender. One guy, 12 hours, six pounds of pork. What have you got? A perfect, perfect pork butt ready to be made into pulled pork. Let's take a look at what we got and get it ready for the table. All right, pork lovers, we're in the home stretch. Your butt's been out there overnight cooking away, and you're ready to pull it, finish it, and eat it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take two forks, and you're gonna start pulling the pork away. It should just come right apart into strands. All right, so now you've got your whole butt pulled. What you wanna do now is put it all into a nice glass bowl. 
All right, at this point, you take some of your finishing sauce, dump it in there to taste, and then just toss it in, working it in. At this point, the only thing left to do is get yourself some pork, pile it nice and high on some cheap white bread. If you want a true Carolina style, go ahead and add yourself a little bit of coleslaw right on the top, put your bread on, and there you go, Rock and Roll Barbecue's perfect pulled pork sandwich.